The Queen is mourning the death of Sir Timothy Coleman, who died last week aged 91. Sir Timothy, a British businessman part of the world-renowned Coleman Mustard family, was believed to be a close friend of Her Majesty and a frequent guest at her home in Norfolk, where he was based. Take a look at Amazon's best-selling books in Royal Historical Biographies Amazon's best-selling books in Royal Historical Biographies Learn all about the secretive personal lives and history of the royal family as you've never seen them before in Amazon's best-selling Royal Historical Biographies This box contains affiliate links, we may receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more, top deals, you deal brought to you by Sir Timothy, who died on September 9, became related to the Queen through marriage in 1951 when he became the husband of Lady Mary Coleman, born Bose Leon. Lady Mary, who died in January aged 88, was the daughter of Captain Michael Bose Leon and Elizabeth Margaret Cater and a niece of the Queen Mother. The two cousins spent much of their childhoods together and their bond remained strong as they grew up. Sir Timothy also got close to the sovereign over the decades and was so trusted by the Queen he was appointed a Lord Lieutenant of Norfolk. The late businessman covered this role between 1978 and 2004 and in this position he was the representative of the Queen in the area. His duties included presenting awards on behalf of Her Majesty, arranging and hosting royal visits, and taking part in engagements. Among the royal engagements he attended alongside the Queen as Lord Lieutenant, there was the Maundy service in April 1996. The Sovereign acknowledged Sir Timothy's dedication to his role and the Crown on that same month, when she appointed him to the Most Noble Order of the Garter. Sir Timothy was surprised to receive this honour, previously bestowed, among others, upon Winston Churchill. He said at the time, it took my breath away when I opened the letter a few days ago. I feel very thrilled, deeply honored, but humble in receiving such recognition from the Queen, for whom I have the greatest admiration and respect. As much of my life has been related to Norfolk, I like to regard this, in part at least, as a compliment to the people of the county. Sir Timothy publicly spoke again about his admiration for the Queen in 2012, during her Diamond Jubilee. Speaking about the monarch, he said she has worked selflessly to give this country and all of its people pride and continuity during a period of relentless change. The businessman was born on September 19, 1929, at Bixley Manor, where he and his wife later spent most of their lives together. He was the second son of Captain Geoffrey Coleman and wife Lettuce. After spending a decade in the Royal Navy, he joined his family's firm. Among his other interests, there were journalism, nature and education. In 1957 he became the director of Eastern Counties Newspapers and with the passing of the years, he became the chairman of Eastern Counties Newspapers Group, a position he retained between 1969 and 1996. In the late 1950s, he worked to create a university in Norfolk, which resulted in the foundation of the University of East Anglia. Moreover, five decades ago he was part of the first tourist expedition from Europe to visit Antarctica. A keen yachtsman, in 1972 he claimed the record for the world's fastest yacht at 26 knots at the inception of the world sailing speed record he increased his record twice first in 1975 and then in 1980 in 2004 sir timothy became the first recipient of the denise anderson award created to honor those who made an outstanding to norfolk noel murphy chief executive of business link for the county said the person selected for this award has so many achievements that if i were to list them all we would be here until the early hours of the morning Sir Timothy leaves behind three daughters, Sarah, Sabrina and Emma, and two sons, James and Matthew. He also leaves ten grandchildren and sixteen great-grandchildren.